Antonio. Thanks for accepting the interview. This interview is going to be about the marriage. So I'm going to ask you some questions regarding this topic, okay? What, can, what kind of questions do couples ask each other before they get married? Uh, the questions could be that, uh, what, do you, what is your favorite food? Or what is, what is your favorite color? Or what do you like? In Okay, that's a good answer. So actually, I think that the people, one of the questions that the people ask before they get married is like, when they say like, okay, so when you when you are in, the, in your house, do you like to clean it or something like that? So I think that. Well, let's move to the second question. What kind of questions do couple ask with each other after they get married? After they get married? It's like uh, why you didn't pick up the children from the school. Oh, okay. So why you why you didn't go to the lab? Okay, that's a good answer as well. So yeah, those are good questions that the people could ask each other, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's move to the third question. Do you think to signing a prenuptial agreement could guarantee a lifelong marriage? No. Why? Because if you get a marriage, you get married, uh, it's, for, it's because you love to her or you love to other person. No, in, in a paper, if you if you sing a paper, mm -hmm. it's not a guarantee for you married or how long to marry with another person. Yeah, that's true. That's true because no, there is no paper that can guarantee you like a life of marriage. Or maybe as I as I told you before this interview, uh, I was thinking that. Even uh, even uh, like if the if your partner gets sick, could be like another kind of like short relationship, right? If you had to write one rule for a prenuptial contract, which one would be the most important one to include? The most important could be the separate property mm -hmm. because if I, if I get a, if I get married, mm -hmm. so I don't like the other person give get my money or my car or my house so because it's my it's my money because i work hard for this you put all your effort to to reach that money right yes okay good it's a good answer okay what are the most important aspects to contribute to have a lifelong marriage the most important is because i love her so i see the 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 love in um, yes, yes, that's a, that's true. That's true. That's a good answer. So, well, I think that the most important aspect to contribute is like when you have like any kind of of goals of goals of the couple couple goals. So, I think if you if you propose something in like let's say from here to ten years, so to your couple and you fight to reach that, or maybe you put all your effort to reach that. That's going to be a, one of the most important aspects as well, right? Okay, so what is the best thing to do when the, when a couple is facing a problem? Uh, in my case, if I get a, if I get a marriage, so the best point is to uh, keep communication with, uh, between us uh, and we can, we can do something Just keep it like together, right? Yeah. When you're facing a problem, yes. I think like you. Uh, so it true. Yes. Yes. So keep trusting each other, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good good answer, Antonio. What should be the most important reason to marry your partner? The most important reason could be because I I love her. Because I I'm I'm, the love. I'm falling in love. Oh yeah, the love, definitely. The love. If you are not like, if you are not falling in love with your partner, so why why you wanna get married? So other in other hand, like let's say let's say that you want like any you you want a lifelong marriage, so you have to get married with her because you are falling in love with her, right? Okay.
Okay, good. What is the next? Uh, what is the least important reason you to marry your partner? The least. I think the the for example the house, the money, the cars, or something like this. Because no. it's the least. Yeah. So maybe the money, right? Mm -hmm. Because you are when you are falling in love with someone. You don't care about the money, or maybe if he or she has like houses or cars or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So the only thing that you are interested in is in, in her values and things in things like that, right? Okay. So basically, this the, in my point of view as a conclusion. First, is like when you get married with someone, you only have to think about one thing, just to keep that relationship very healthy and to reach that you can like just keeping your home clean or maybe just get out with your couple to eat something in a restaurant and something like that because the little details are making your your marriage like a lifelong relationship right mm -hmm. okay so that's my point of view and also I'm very gladly that you have been my interviewer today so thank you Baba thank you for that and let's say let's look together the next thing, the next video right? okay. okay thank you very much Antonio and see you soon thank you